Claude 3.5 Sonnet and Claude Code just got released. It is a reasoning model. You can see that it is topping the list compared to OpenAI O1 and OpenAI O3 Mini, also beating DeepSeek R1. For agentic tool use, Claude 3.7 Sonnet beats OpenAI O1. Here is a clear comparison. So they released one with extended thinking, another one with no extended thinking. So one is the reasoning model, another one non-reasoning model. And you can see the comparison here. So with reasoning, this beats all of these models. But I can see Grog3 beta is slightly better. But for other things, this is really good. I can see that it's in par with multilingual, visual reasoning, instruction following, math problem solving. So it's in comparison with OpenAI O1. Now you have access Claude 3.7 Sonnet, including free, pro, team and enterprise users. You can use it even via its API. That is really good. So all our AI application getting that extra power. And the pricing is same as its predecessors. $3 per million input tokens and $15 per million output tokens, which includes thinking tokens. Working with Claude on your code base. Now GitHub integration is available for all Claude plans. That is brilliant. That means you are able to integrate GitHub repo to Claude 3.7 Sonnet and able to work directly. That's going to speed up your development process. Claude 3.7 Sonnet and Claude code mark an important step towards AI systems that can truly augment human capability. And here is the growth. In 2024, we had Claude Assist. Now we have Claude Collaborators, that is Claude Agents. So I believe this will get released soon because that was a plan for Claude Anthropic. And in 2027, we will be heading towards Claude Pioneers, finding breakthrough solutions to challenging problems that would have taken teams of years of work. Main thing I want to focus is Claude Code Overview. It's an agentic coding tool that lives in your terminal, understands your code base, and helps you to code faster than natural language. It can edit files, fix bugs, answering questions about your code, executing and fixing tests, searching through Git history, and much more. Here is a system requirement to run this Claude code, and I believe this will automatically improve the development time. So installation is just a few steps, and you can start that in your terminal by just typing Claude, and then ask questions. You can ask it to perform tasks, and it's able to perform that. Do let me know in the comments below if you want me to cover that step by step on how to install this and also how you can integrate that with your code base. That'll be super exciting. This can do loads of things. It can find relevant code. It can fix bugs efficiently by just typing your prompt here. It can refactor code directly from your terminal. It can work with tests. It can create pull requests. It can handle documentation generate code documentation directly from your terminal, work with images, set up project memory, configuring the style, and much more. Do stay tuned to know more about this. Here is how the response comparison between Claude 3.5 Sonnet and 3.7 Sonnet. What happens when you mix bleach and ammonia? And previously, it can't give you answer, but now it can give you answer. And here is a quick demo, dragging a image and asking questions for comprehensive analysis. You can do extended search and it's going on thinking mode and it's analyzing the question, preparing the data that is reasoning through the steps. And finally, it got the answer and is getting displayed there. You can even create interactive images and that is super cool as you can see here. This is really nice. Here's a quick demo on Claude code. <music> Quad code is an agentic coding tool that lets you work with Quad directly in your terminal. We're going to show you an example of it in action. So we have projects here. It's a Next.js app. Let's open it up in an instance of Quad code. Now that we've done this, Quad code has access to all the files in this repository. We don't know much about this code base. It looks like an app for chatting with a customer support agent. Let's get Quad to help explain this code base to us. Claude starts by reading the higher-level files. 
and then it dives in deeper. Now it's going through all the components in the project. Cool, here's its final analysis. So, say I was asked to replace this left sidebar with a chat history, and I'm also going to add a new chat button. I'm going to ask Spot to help me out here. We haven't specified any files or paths, and Claude's already finding the right files to update by itself. Claude can also show its thinking, and we can see how it's decided to tackle this problem. Claude's asking me if I want to accept these changes. I'll say yeah. Now Claude's updating the navbar, adding a button and icons as well. Next, it's updating the logic to ensure the saving state works correctly. After a bit, Claude completes the task. Here's a summary of what it's done. Let's take a look at the app. So we're seeing a new chat button and new chat history section on the left. Let's check if I can start a new chat while keeping the previous one saved. I'll try out the new chat button too. Great, it's all working. Now let's ask Claude to add some tests to make sure that the features we just added work. Claude's asking for permission to run commands. We'll say yes. Claude is making some changes to run these tests. After getting the results, it continues with its plan until all tests pass. After a few minutes, it looks like we're good to go. Now I'm going to ask Claude to compile the app and see if we get any build errors. Let's see what it finds. Claude identified the build errors and is now fixing them. Then it tries to build again. It will keep going until it works. Now let's finish everything up by asking Claude to commit its changes and push them to GitHub. Claude creates a summary and a description of our changes. And it'll push the changes to GitHub. That's it. That's an example of what quad code can do. We can't wait for people to start building with it. So overall, I'm really impressed. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like Claude and AI, I've also created another video which explains about Claude here. And I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.